Okay, so you just enabled Microsoft 365 Defender. What do you do next? How do you know that this thing is even working? Well, it's time to run some attack simulations. Let's do it. All right, so to start this off, there's some documentation that I'll link to in the video description. This is gonna have you create a lab environment. I created this on uh, just Hyper-V on a workstation. So I have a Windows Server 2019 domain controller running, and I also have a Windows 10 Enterprise client running. That client is joined to the domain. And then I also created a standard user account on that domain that's signed in to that Windows 10 client. Now I've also deployed Defender for Identity. So I actually deployed my, um, my service account and I deployed the sensor. Don't worry, I'll do another video on how to do that later on. I've also onboarded this to Defender for Endpoint. So if we come down here to Settings in Microsoft 365 Defender, and we go to Endpoints, and we go down to Onboarding, I ran the local script to onboard both of those hosts to Defender for Endpoint. Once I've done that, I'm ready to launch the attack simulation. Now the attack simulation is gonna basically simulate a fileless attack here, and basically what we call living off the land. And to do this, it's gonna be done through a PowerShell script. Now, when you copy out the script, a word to the wise, make it all one line. So you're gonna to have to clean it up a little bit so it's all one line. And then you're gonna copy that and you're gonna run it on that Windows 10 machine that you created. So here's that Windows 10 machine, whoops. Here's that Windows 10 machine that I ran it on. Now, when I run it, it's gonna launch the notepad.exe uh, process. It's gonna do some shell code injection. This this process will stay active until Microsoft Defender for Endpoint will go through and automatically close it and kill it because it's gonna identify it as suspicious. So that is the attack. So right now it's running and I've just got uh, Task Manager open because this thing is pegging the CPU like crazy. And once I do that, once I run it, I'm gonna switch back over here to Microsoft 365 Defender. I'm gonna go to Incidents and I will see that now listed as an incident. You can see I ran this multiple times today. So here is the actual attack simulation. I could see the alerts that it generated. I could see that it's impacting uh, two devices, my, uh, my domain controller and my Windows 10 host. It's also impacting a user as well. And we can even see that an automatic investigation was launched. And if I come in here, I can see that uh, automatic investigation and there's the automatic investigation. And if I go back to my incident, I can see that that automation actually discovered some suspicious evidence here, and it actually went through and remediated it automatically. And I could always drill into this and I can get more information about uh, what it did and, and even how it did it. So if I come over here to investigations and I drill into it and I click on log, I can actually go through this and see it. I'll do another video in more detail about all of this later on, folks. So don't worry about it if you're, if you're not catching that. This is just for generating the attack. Now, I could also click on alerts and I could see each one of the alerts that got generated as well. So in the documentation for this, if you scroll through this, it will actually help you understand what this is doing. So it'll actually walk you through each one of these alerts and how to read the alert and explain to you what exactly it's doing. To make a long story short, I'll just kind of summarize. If we go up to the kill chain here, we're running a malicious PowerShell command that's launching notepad.exe, injecting some shell code that goes out and makes a IP uh, call to a command and control server, basically a public IP address. And then it's also running SMB enumeration against that domain controller to try to figure out what accounts that might be sensitive on that domain controller so you can go out and compromise those accounts and then get domain dominance and do your thing. That's basically what this is doing. So please give this a shot. It's a lot of fun. It validates that Microsoft 365 Defender is indeed doing its job. Uh, if I click on alerts here in the incident, check it out, detection source, endpoint, and Defender for identity. So that's how I know it's automatically correlating those alerts into an incident. Hey, if you have any questions, hit me up on LinkedIn or Twitter. If you found value in this, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you didn't find value, that's okay too. And I got a lot more videos on this coming, so please stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.